Good afternoon everyone, I'm delighted to be here to champion this book called Cork Rock from Rory Gallagher to the Sultans of Pink and the book is written by Mark McAvoy and it's the most excellent book and um, it's, um, um, it's a celebration of rock and roll uh, in Cork um, from the early days of the show bands and Rory Gallagher to the Arcadia and the punk era up to the present time um, it's a, a brilliant piece of work um, I think it's fantastic that there is a book um, with the history of rock and roll music uh, in Cork and um, it's fantastic that it, it's done so extremely well and I'd like to uh, congratulate Mark on a huge um, the amount of work that he put into it and uh, it's a brilliant book and I'm delighted to be championing it here this afternoon and I urge you all to vote for Cork's favourite book, Cork Rock. <laughs> Woo <-hoo! laughs> um, There's a list of Cork Rock and Roll bands at the end of the book and it goes on for, there's many hundreds of bands in there and uh, it, within this book there's about a thousand other books. You're, you're, you're familiar with the commitments by Roddy Loyal, well every one of these um, bands you could write a commitments about it, you could write a number of books with it, do you get it? A thousand books within the one book, lads, this is a book and a half. <laughs> and uh, I'd like to read out some of the names of the bands. Um, Above the Maple, A Cow in the Water, Alice in Wonderband, and the rest in jellies, Anne Omi, Anthony and the Confidence, Antibodies, Aaron the Elderly, Asylum, Bacchus and the Paris. Well, even the very first uh, band, uh, Above the Maple, I remember Above the Maple. Anyone else remember a band called Above the Maple? There was a, um, a Chinese restaurant called The Maple on Patrick Street, and this band used to practice in the room above the Chinese restaurant, and they called the um, and above the maple, and then they changed their name for some unknown reason to Benny's Head. And it had something to do with this guy Benny and whatever the shape of his head was. He was a member of the band. Uh, this book is a great um, celebration of rock and roll, fun, uh, joy, excitement, melody, um, drums, bass guitars, electric guitars, lead guitars, lead vocalists, um, ego. Energy, madness, um, talent, um, love, excitement, dreams, bravery, expression, etc. Heart. Um, I remember the time Adolf Grunt, there was a band in Cork called Adolf Grunt, and the time your man bit the head off the chicken over in Sir Henry's. <laughs> Blood everywhere. <laughs> that was from the punk era. Um, uh, Mark has done a fantastic job in this uh, book. It's also a very brave book in that you have to be brave to call it. You know what I mean? Somebody has to say who gets in the book and who doesn't get in the book. You know, what's important and what isn't important. Um, do you know what I mean? It's not about like who sold the most records or that kind of stuff. And um, um, there's fantastic stuff in it, of course, about um, Rory Gallagher. And I'd like to read you a little quote now about Rory. Um, there's a lot of uh, people interviewed in this book about you know various bands and various rock musicians and all that like him. So anyway, um, we're talking about Rory Gallagher. Um, Rory came to play with us when he was 15 years of age. What people don't know at all is that he was very introverted very shy and he stood back in the corner. At 15 he could play guitar as well as someone who was 25. He knew every Buddy Holly tune there was to know. His two biggest songs were Buddy Holly and Lonnie Donegan songs. Um, he used to sing The Valley of Tears by B Buddy Holly. Now, one of the um, there's lots of great stuff in this book about Rory. And um, one of the best things about this book is that um, you can see how Kirk expressed has expressed itself through the medium of rock and roll and how the personality of Cork comes out in the, um, in the rock and roll bands. And um, for example, Mark says at one point that um, Cork music's, Cork rock music's two most in inspirational figures 
were Rory Gallagher and Finbar Donnelly. Now, R Rory Gallagher is um, a world famous um, musician, of course, and we have the Rory Gallagher uh, Library here. <laughs> and then, um, but Finbar Donnelly, Donnelly, like you know, um, I'm delighted that Mark has put him up there as being the great Cork rocker, because hardly anybody has heard of Donnelly, but he was, and that's the way rock and roll goes. Um, I'd like to go back to the list um, and. Um, Colin Coughlin, Cavalcade, Censored Vision, Charlie Don Surf, Citizen Elmo, Richard Collins, Noel Connolly, Crowd Control, Crystal, Cyclefly, Cypress Mine, um, Exit, Pursued by a Bear, Expresso Mambo, Factor Fiction, Five Got Onto the Sea, Mick Flannery, Flex and the Fast Weather, Free Fall, Rory Gallagher, Goldfish Syndrome, Adolf Grunt, Hidden Fears, Mean Features, no Mozzie's from Banya. Uh, one of the things, um, I won't go on too much longer now, one of the things that comes out through this book is that there's great personality um, in the Cork rock bands and in the, in the Cork songs. And uh, it's often called quirky, but you have great um, tradition of rock, um, rock bands in Cork, like the No Mozzie's from Banya, Five Got Under the Sea, um, you have Donnelly who wrote a lot of mad songs, like, um, you know, um, Stairway to No Pants, um, you had Gerdy O'Leary, you very colourful and uh, rich um, characters. And uh, I'd like to say to you that it's a brilliant book. Um, that's about it, really. Um, uh, great characters, Mick the Punk, uh, Mick Finnegan. Mick Finnegan used to work for the corporation and he used to fix the traffic lights. And at one time, all the rock and roll bands in Cork had a set of traffic lights at each side of the stage. Um, <laughs> because he was getting their leftover traffic lights. Um, <laughs> And that was the feature of pop rock music. But I think it's a brilliant book, and um, congratulations to Mark McAvoy, and I urge you all to vote for pop rock. <laughs>